Hello, welcome to our lesson on when to switch an inequality sign. There are three times where you might switch an inequality sign. If you are moving numbers, multiplying by negatives, or dividing by negatives. Those are the three times where you might want to switch, or you might have to switch an inequality sign. Let's look at each of those. First off, when you're moving numbers, what I mean by this is if you have a situation like this, 4 is less than 7, and you switch the numbers, you move what's on the left to on the right and the right to left, if you're moving the numbers back and forth, you have to switch the sign. Because Think about it, this statement would not be true if we put the less than symbol in. So we would have to make it greater than to make this statement true. In most cases, we do this when we're working with variables. So here's an example of that. If we have 5 is greater than or equal to x, to change those numbers so that we have our x on the left side of the inequality, you would also change the symbol from greater than or equal to to less than or equal to. x is less than or equal to 5. Notice the symbol is always opening towards the same number, the 5 um, the five on the right side and the 7 on the left example. And basically it's just, this is the most basic time where you would have to switch the inequality sign. Let's do some practice. So if I had 8 is greater than negative 2, and I switch those numbers, what symbol is going to go in there? Did you change it to a less than sign? If so, you're absolutely right. Negative 2 is less than 8. Let's try this one. Negative 1 is less than or equal to n. What symbol am I going to put in between n and negative 1 if I move them around? Did you say greater than or equal to? If so, you were correct. 50 million points to you. Redeemable at nowhere. The next situation where we might need to change an inequality sign is if we're dividing by negative numbers. Let me show you an example of this. If I had the inequality negative 2n is greater than 20, and I wanted to solve that inequality for the variable of n. To get my variable n by itself, I would need to divide both sides of the inequality by negative 2. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 leaves me with just n on the left. On the right, I have 20 divided by negative 2, which gives me negative 10. Now, that is the same way you would solve a one-step equation. However, the difference is that you now need to change the sign. Because you divided by a negative, you would now have the less than sign in there. Let me show you one more example of that. Negative 3x is less than or equal to negative 39. With this inequality, to solve it, you have to divide both sides by negative 3, because that's the coefficient of x. That would leave you with x by itself on the left. On the right, you have 13, positive 13. And we need to change the sign from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to. Whenever you're dividing by a negative number, you have to switch the inequality sign. Time for some practice. Try this one out. What negative 5y is greater than negative 15? Solve it and, and remember to switch the sign. Did you divide both sides by negative 5? When you did that, what did you end up with? Y is less than positive 3. There you go. One more uh, practice question. Negative 4a is less than or equal to 16. Go ahead and solve that one. Seriously, solve it. I'm just waiting for you to solve it. All right, we divide both sides by negative 4, and that leaves us with 4 by itself, and 16 divided by negative 4 gives you negative 4, and we switch that sign. That's what we do when we are dividing by negatives. The third situation where you would change the inequality sign is if you're multiplying by negatives or multiplying with negatives. So let's look at this example here. x divided by negative 7 is less than or equal to 21. To solve this inequality, 
you would need to multiply both sides by negative 7. x divided by negative 7, the inverse operation is multiplying times negative 7. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the inequality times negative 7. What that does is it gets x by itself on the left of the inequality. I have 21 times negative 7, which gives me negative 147 on the right side of the inequality. And notice the symbol has changed. It changed from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to because I multiplied times a negative number. Here's one more example. If I have n divided by negative 8 is less than or equal to negative 3, to solve this, I would need to multiply both sides times negative 8. And doing that gets me n by itself on my left, positive 24 on the right, and the symbol that goes in between them would change from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to. Let's go ahead and practice that for just one moment. If I have this inequality, n, is, n divided by negative 9 is greater than positive 10, go ahead and solve that and make sure to switch the inequality sign. We solve by multiplying both sides times 9. That leaves us with n on the left by itself and negative 90 on the right of the inequality, and we have to switch the sign. So there we go. As always, I like to show you why this works as well. So I'm going to start with a simple question or a simple inequality. 20 is greater than negative 10. That's a true statement. 20 is greater than negative 10. Any positive is greater than a negative. And if I were to multiply both sides times negative 1, that would change 20 to being negative 20 and negative 10 would change into positive 10. And to make this statement true now, you would definitely have to switch the signs. So that's why this works in every case. When you're multiplying times a negative on both sides of an inequality, that sign is going to Quick recap, the three times that you would switch, flip, rotate, or change the sign of an inequality if you're moving the numbers, multiplying by negatives, or dividing by negatives. If that's video was helpful for you, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment box to tell me which math class you go to. Have a wonderful day, guys.